Hello everyone, my name is Dorian and welcome to another track guide with the LMP2. We are at Charlotte Roval 2019 edition with the new chicane preparing for IMSA. Now the track conditions are as follows, 32C, 70% usage, pretty cold. It can get a little bit warmer than this, keep that in mind. My best lap time is a 107.833 with race fuel of course. I'm going to show you guys the lap and then we're going to analyze it corner by corner. Also made a Watkins Glen track guide this week. It's going to be in the description below. Leave a like if you enjoyed this at all. Give me your feedback and subscribe. And yeah, let's get on the track. Alrighty, we're coming up to turn number one. We are looking for the breaking point. It's gonna be right at the one and a half. And I'm gonna break from fourth to second very quickly, around 60%, and then I'm gonna go into trail braking immediately. Looking for the apex, I'm clipping it a little bit and I'm letting the car go wide. There's two reasons for that. One, obviously, to set myself up for the next corner, but the other one is there's a lot of bumps on the inside here and you want to try to avoid them. So you're going to take the outside on the exit, be as close to this wall as you dare. And we're going to use for the next corner, we're going to use this green light as our turning point. Basically, as soon as we reach it, I'm going to start turning the wheel more and more into the corner and I'm lifting. You cannot take this corner flat out if you do, I mean, more power to you but i i have no way of taking it flat out i'm lifting and i'm just maintaining the grip making sure the back end doesn't step out the back end really likes to step out on this corner hugging the blue line all the way through the wall and i'm trying to exit the corner when i'm in the middle of the track going back to full throttle into fourth gear and i'm gonna set myself up for this double apex uh the first apex isn't extremely crucial the second one is way more uh, <laughs> important so you definitely want to look for it as you leave the first apex now i'm going to break very slightly i'm going to try to carry the speed all the way through this corner look at how much input i'm actually giving it not a lot i'm letting the car go wide i'm maintaining a little bit of uh pressure on the front wheels just to keep it weighed down and i'm gonna avoid the, uh, going too wide on this curb here as you can see it starts to go downhill after the blue line you don't want to put too much of the car on this curb you can use it a little bit but not too much let's look at it from the outside just for a second and see how much i'm actually using it not a lot at all and as soon as i reach it i'm already going to start turning in hard still in second gear and i'm looking for uh the curb on the inside there's uh, the blue bump stop you don't want to touch that i have slightly you can but it's really not recommended you want to put your front wheel right around here and you can punch it on the way out i'm not being too uh greedy with the throttle here i'm just maintaining the the speed and i'm going to start to accelerate as soon as i hit it or right before i'm going to start accelerating 50 percent 60 percent and full throttle from this point on pretty much using all of the track on the outside as i'm hitting this curb i want to make sure the car won't get upset so we're just straightening out the wheel letting the car go wide and using all of the road getting as close to the grass as i can set myself up for the next corner coming up to this corner you want to sort of clip this apex beware of the bump stop and as soon as i hit it i'm gonna start braking so i'm gonna hit it and brake around 50 percent and move it into trail braking fourth third 
into second gear and i'm using the curb on the outside to to maximize my approach uh to this apex do not i repeat do not miss this apex if you have to take it a little bit slower uh, it's fine but this apex is gonna give you a lot of speed if you hit it if you don't it's you might end up in a wall so you know it's either you do it perfectly or you don't do it at all i'm looking for the apex second gear stop trail braking i'm neutral right now i'm just looking for it making sure i hit it and as soon as i hit it i'm gonna start hitting the throttle a little bit still not 100 percent, 50 percent, 60 percent. i'm very linear here because the car can step out very easily as soon as i see i'm quite safe i'm gonna floor it for i don't know maybe a second a second and a half and then i'm gonna lift again as i turn left what i'm trying to do is hug the inside here this blue line is your friend you really want to get close to it because you want to avoid the wall on the outside you do want to maximize your approach for the next corner but the closer you'll be to this uh, blue line you don't want to cross it you want to be very close to it the closer you'll be the safer you'll be on the exit again going to the blue line the blue line is really useful here and as i straighten the car out i'm going to start to turn in for the next corner you want to have a wide approach and then try to be as close to this wall as possible to make sure you can get back on the power as soon as you can as you can see i'm already on the power when i'm getting close to it i'm on the power the whole way through but i'm not flooring it because i want to make sure i'm not going to hit the wall on the exit and i'm going to open the wheel as soon as i open the wheel i'm going to go full power Take it all the way to the outside and then immediately go back to the apron you want to hug this apron the whole way through nothing special about it just make sure you take the shortest route possible and right around here i'm going to start going wide again utilizing all of the track and i'm looking for my breaking point around the two and a half maybe a little bit less than two and a half here because the track conditions are quite good full break 90 percent Breaking very hard and making sure I get a late entry here. Don't want to start turning in too early. As you can see, this is right where the edge of the rubber is. And you want to be uh, pretty much as close to it as possible on the entry. Try to clip the red, the red curb on the inside here. And as I'm clipping it right now, I'm in second gear. As I'm clipping it, I'm going to downshift right at this point into first. And as I'm downshifting, I'm going to straight out the car start applying a little bit of braking into the next chicane in next the apex train it out and then again flip it look for the point where the car settles down giving it a little bit of throttle being very linear on the exit here because if you have a smooth exit here you're gonna earn, you're gonna gain a lot of time on the following straight I'm going to let the car go wide, utilizing all of the track, getting as close as I can to this wall here. Look at how close I got to it. It's, it's insane how much of the track you need to use to make sure you get a good line out of it. But, you know, practice makes perfect, guys. Keep practicing. Keep putting yourself into a wall to figure out where the limit is. I'm cutting this part because there's no 1x, so why not? It might give you half a tenth, so use it. But then I'm going to come back to the apron and hug it the whole way through. Nothing special about it so far, but notice one thing. As I reach the end of it, I'm going to start going wide a little bit. Let's look at it from the cockpit view. I'm going to let the car go wide. And the reason for that is because I want to set it up for a straight braking point or braking line uh, into the next chicane now i don't have a lot of indications here i don't really look at anything on the outside but there's like a very clear bump here as you go over it that's kind of signals me uh that kind of signals me to start breaking a little bit after that so you got the four cone here and i noticed that could be a very good marker for you guys especially if you use a higher field of view than i am this is my angle this is everything i can see so it's not very convenient for me to look to the right at this point but if you guys can glance at the four cone you know you need to break just before it breaking in a straight line very hard breaking point 90 percent making sure the car is straight all the way into second gear and you want to clip both curbs here definitely don't want to clip, clip them uh, too much but you do want to clip them that's going to give you a shorter line and a better acceleration point 
flip in the first one, flip in the second one. I'm running around 50% throttle here. Straighten out the wheel 100%. The back end isn't going to kick out because second gear is very stable with this car because it's so long. And I'm using all of the track to make this lap. Now, I really enjoyed uh, learning this track. I've, in fact, never raced here before. This will give us a 107A33, by the way. Uh, it's really going to be similar. As I've said in the beginning, it's going to be very similar to Road Atlanta. We're going to encounter a lot of traffic. Maintain your tires, guys. This is a very tire-intensive track. And uh, be patient. Don't kill GT3s. <laughs> And that concludes the track guide for Charlotte Roval. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was useful. Let me know in the comments if you think there's anything I can improve. Jump over to my Discord. Leave a follow on my Twitch channel right above me right now. And yeah, like, subscribe, all those social media things. Really helpful for a 150 subscriber channel. We're trying to move this up a little bit. And anything you guys can do for it is going to be super appreciated and very helpful. That's it. For this time, at least, I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.